there's not Muhammad, there's not Buddha, there's not all these different ones. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there's only, Jesus is the only way through. <laughs> he is the only way, absolutely the only way. You can't go by the Pope, you can't go by the Catholic Church, you can't go by Muhammad, you can't go by all the different ones. There's thousands of them. They're all the same. They're all just trying to take God's glory. Turn to Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And by without him, there is no other way. He is here, sent his Holy Spirit to be with us, to speak to us, to take to do with us every day, and lead us in the right path. But the first thing we must do is like the people out in the street, uh, the Israelites, they realize their situation. And the first step and the most important step is to realize that we can do nothing because we are sinners through and through from whatever situation we're in, we can do nothing. It's all rag and, rags and muck that we produce. All rag and, rags and muck that we produce unless Jesus is taken into it. But Jesus is standing and he's waiting. When we realize that we need his we need his work done then he's there to take our hand so in the night perhaps one quiet bit when you're not when you've woken up in the night he might just put his finger on something and when he puts his finger on it you'll know what he's talking about because i've told you today so what you do is you make a beeline you ask jesus just cry out to him he'll hear you it doesn't, you don't have to get it right you don't have to get the prayers right he knows, he knows your heart and you cry out to him and he will set you on the right track. He'll put you in touch with somebody, he'll bring you to the Bible, he'll show you scriptures in the Bible and when those scriptures are read and the Holy Spirit is working on they dance like nothing like even, far better than these things dance. When, when the words in the Bible the, come to life for the Holy Spirit, he has nothing to beat it. So praise the Lord. And when you get that touch of the Lord putting his finger on sin, go for it. Shout on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pick up your Bible and read it. And when you're doing that, he'll come to you. He's there. He's wanting your attention. He's wanting to save you. He doesn't want to send you to hell. He wants nothing less than glory for you. So in the name of Jesus, thank you for listening. Praise the Lord. Amen.